glaucoma, one of the most prevalent eye diseases in the world. Today, this chronic keratoconjunctivitis affects more than 80 million people, 8 million of whom suffer visual impairment. Those most affected live within the close poverty belt in conditions of misery, with inadequate access to water, health care and hygiene. Tacoma remains the world's number one infectious cause of blindness. The story of trachoma and man is an ancient one. According to Nataf, the disease is as old as humanity itself. The first archaeological evidence of trachoma dates back over two centuries before Christ, in Central Asia, China and Mesopotamia. The most well-known written account, dating back 1500 years before Christ, is the papyrus discovered by Ebers in Egypt. This account describes the palpebral anomalies as well as the medical treatment of trachoma with copper oxide. In Greece, it was Dioscorides in the first century who, in his most famous work, De Materia Medica, first used the word trachoma to indicate the disease. Hippocrates, Galen, and later Avicenna were also interested in the subject. At the time, trachoma was treated by the application of balms, drops or ointment of organic or mineral extracts, and by scraping or cauterizing the tarsal conjunctiva. The spread of trachoma throughout the world appears to have been facilitated by the mass migrations of populations and armies as a result of war, particularly with Napoleonic Wars. Epidemics of trachoma raged in France and England with the return of French and British soldiers. Although it is difficult to differentiate trachoma from other infectious eye diseases, the period description of trichiasis and typical follicles are specifically indicative of trachoma. Throughout the centuries, the intimate link between poverty, overcrowding and trachoma became more and more evident as the disease spread to nearly every corner of the planet. As recently as 1900, European immigrants arriving in the United States were screened for trachoma. Trachoma being a childhood illness, school has played an important role in disease detection and hygiene education. Following the Second World War, cases of trachoma became increasingly rare in northern countries as standard of living and hygiene progressively improved. At the end of the 20th century, endemic trachoma remained entrenched in less developed countries. The severity of the problem was recognized by the World Health Organization when, in 1997, it created the WHO Alliance for Global Elimination of Blinding Trachoma. This alliance united and mobilized health organizations, non-governmental organizations and political authorities to join in the fight against trachoma. In 1999, the WHO proposed a simplified grading system for trachoma, as well as a trachoma control strategy, the SAFE strategy, in order to manage not only the disease, but also the risk factors favoring its transmission. Because it involves influencing the physical, social and political environment, the management of trachoma is complex. Today, governments in endemic countries are engaged in the control not only of trachoma, but also of other neglected tropical diseases. 